A large and curious crowd gathered at the Tulsa County Courthouse in 1957. They came to watch the burial of a new Plymouth Belvedere. The two-tone gas guzzler was a time capsule and was going in the ground as Tulsa's way of celebrating Oklahoma's 50th anniversary. The car stays in its temporary grave until 2007, Oklahoma's centennial. I was very happy. Channel 2 News Director back then, Forrest Brokaw, covered the outrageous event. Oklahoma City had buried a time capsule or was going to, and Tulsa at that time had more cars per capita than any city in the United States except Los Angeles. And automobiles were so popular, that was a classic thing to do to top Oklahoma City. Anything Tulsa tried to do, especially in those days, to top Oklahoma City, they would do. Before burial, all sorts of memorabilia was placed in the Plymouth time capsule. The contents of a lady's purse, Tulsa maps, photographs, even a case of Schlitz beer. Oil and gasoline were also enclosed, just in case those things aren't around in the future. Nancy Hughes met us at the courthouse where the car is buried. Her late father, Luther Williams, PR man for the old DX refinery, put her picture in the car. I just remember all the hoopla about burying this 1957 Plymouth, I think it was. And, uh, he was collecting things to put in it. I think at the last minute he shoved a picture of me in my wedding dress in there. <laughs> I was a new bride. Today it's easy to forget that the Plymouth is under the sidewalk. There is one reminder. A plaque on the courthouse sidewalk marks the spot where the hardtop is buried. No one knows what condition that big Plymouth is in. Maybe it's as good as new. Maybe it's rusting away. We'll find out in 2007 when the four-wheeled time capsule was pulled from the ground. Well, I think it's good in good condition. They took every precaution in the world and they assured us that it was going to be in good shape. Whoever gets the car is going to have a pristine automobile, 50 years old, highly classic, and worth a lot more than the $2,000 that cars were worth then. I'm sure it'll be a very big deal when they dig it up. <laughs> Bring all the kids and grandkids. 